Okay, it is the October the 11th, 2013. We're on the Thompson River, and uh, we have Kevin and uh, Evelyn here doing some uh, gold panning. So, Kevin, what are you just uh, getting some of the material there right now? Yeah, basically what we're doing down here is Spencer's Bridge on the gravel bar, and where there's nice rounded river rock, of course, that's where you find the, some of the washed up gold, gold being heavier than water by about 19 times. Of course, the gold is going to drop down, so that's why I'm in a deep hole here, going for the bigger, heavier gold. Then what I do is um, I classify the gold, uh, not the gold, rather, classify the material mm -hmm. to a screen, such as this, and then we end up with a consistent mixture, and then I give that to Evelyn, who's over here, and uh, we have what's called a stream sluice. Other people use what's called a high banker, mm -hmm. but this is just a stream sluice, and then Evelyn's taking the classified material, which is of a consistent size, and just dropping it onto this uh, stream sluice. Now what a sluice does is the black mat is what they call an inspection mat, and then we have the ripples, which are the bars, and it goes underneath that is a uh, what's called miner's moss, so the gold gets trapped in, in that. And at the end of that process, what we do is take that all apart, and we rinse it off in a, a bucket, a five-gallon pail, and we end up with a what's called a concentrate. Well, this this uh, little uh, this system here is a little more modern than what the, the gold miners had in 1858 when they discovered gold on the Fraser at Hills Bar there, <laughs> and uh, they just stopped for lunch and they were finding big uh, big nuggets there. I guess you haven't been as fortunate as that. <laughs> no, between those old miners and the Chinese, they've pretty much taken all the big nuggets out of here. What we're getting is what they call float gold, which yeah. comes down. This is what they call placer mining. Placer, of course, is the eroded material that comes off the mountains and load mining is where they actually go in the ground and they take loads of material and right. different loads, it's spelled differently, but however that's uh, load mining. That's what the big companies do. Of course it's the gold mining that uh, built British Columbia, uh, this is, gave it its start there because uh, Yale where it started, it was the biggest uh, city north of uh, San Francisco and west of Chicago, believe it or not. Well, and then it moved up to uh, Braylorn and Goldbridge. Right. That's the and, name Goldbridge. Yeah. Yes, and, and of course Barkerville was uh, another uh, hot Wells, area for gold. Yeah. So most people now are just doing it as a hobby. Re recreational hobby. Yes. Uh, we don't ever plan to get rich doing it. Uh, similar to me, it's like fishing. Sometimes you get a fish, sometimes you get some gold. Yeah. And doing it with this method here, we always get gold. Always. And if you like, I can um, open up my snuffer bottle, which we snuffed up, and I'll show you the oh, gold that we, we got yeah. the last time we cleaned this out. Okay. I'll just uh, grab some water. Okay. This is a gold pan, and that's uh, how we swirl it around. Of course, the gold goes to the bottom, and it gets trapped in these riffles here. Mm -hmm. And then that way, once we get the gold separated, we use a snuffer bottle, such as this, and we snuff the gold up. I'm just going to put some water in here, okay. and uh, I'll show you the gold that we got the last time we cleaned out the sluice. Oh, yes. Now, how do you know the difference, uh, like, for fool's gold there? I mean, how do you... Uh, well, that? like I said, gold's very heavy. Yes. And fool's gold, or iron pyrite, as it's called, right. will flop around like a page in a bucket. Just wibble, wobble, wobble right. back and forth like but that. Here is, but uh, real gold... It's a step in the sun, it's going to be far more impressive. Yeah, I see you got a, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, quite a good size uh, flake there too, I notice. Yeah. Right here, oh, that, yeah. That, 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 that's quite good. Yeah. And you see we've got a little bit of black sand as well, we'll clean that up mm -hmm. after. And then, um, so what we do is uh, swirl it around, agitate it, the gold goes to the bottom of the pan, and then, um, maybe I should be on the other side. What we do is a little bump technique here, right. which puts the, the black sand, you can see how the black sand comes forward, okay. and the gold sits back. That's called the blueberry bump, and that was developed by a fellow named Blueberry Bob up in Anchorage, Alaska. Well, that, uh, I mean, that, 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 that was uh, how much work to get that then, or how, how long that, it uh, that is four or five gallon pails, so 20 gallons of sand. Yeah. And then we take the snuffer bottle and we just put it down and you can see the gold's going back into my bottle. Right, right. And then what we'll do is just give it a little bump. Every time I do this, of course, the gold gets a little cleaner. Get right. rid of that black yeah. sand. Now, I don't suspect that we'll ever have enough to get it assay down in Vancouver. 
However, um, so what will you do with this now? Do you do melt, do you melt it down yourself and make it into a, a bigger piece, or? Well, some people are melting it down and they're making what they call Civil War buttons out of it. Oh, okay. Okay. And uh, what we'll probably do is just show people who are interested. And well, that's that, oh, that's that's excellent. So uh, good. Oh, we what? Uh, and what over you, here, the most important thing I want to. Oh, here, here's a piece of pyrite. You're asking about pyrite, right? Okay. You see that piece of gold that's left in the. Um, in the in the tray right here uh -huh. up there, see it rolls oh, over. Oh, oh yes, and like you say, it, it's moving where the other is so yeah, heavy gold. that it doesn't. Yeah, see, right. now, mm -hmm. That looks like gold, and then if it just when you wash it back and forth, it'll turn it over. And, yeah. And see, it's not gold on the backside. So fire, throw that away. Yeah, that's all good. <laughs> well, that, that's very that interesting. Mostly green here instead of running gas and engines. I just have a. A battery pack with two solar panels, oh, uh, yeah. and that provides enough power for us to run all day. I noticed up at the trailer, someone's got a solar. You know, uh, with the smart meters going on now, we were thinking we, got, we still have our old meter because we didn't like the smart meter. Uh, need to look into getting solar to do the house. Keep BC Hydro. <laughs> it would be tough in BC uh, because you don't have the hours of daylight uh, to get the sun. You right. almost need to go with uh, wind turbine plus solar. Yeah. So what uh, is there something else that we can do here now to explain to anybody that would be uh, watching this video now what you uh, well, what Evelyn is out of if Evelyn's out of material and I haven't dug any because I've been talking right uh, basically what I would do now is just shut the uh, pump off and let the batteries charge up as I'm digging another five gallons of my, uh, sand or so well that's uh, that, that's very good I think that sort of covers it I know. Uh, I'm sure I uh, learned a lot uh, just by the uh, five minutes or so that you've been speaking. Thank you. And you can see this is our, uh, we also belong to the uh, Gold Prospectors of America as well. Okay. And you're from Squamish? We are from Squamish. No gold in the Squamish system? Uh, we haven't found any. No. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't have to drive so far if there was. Oh uh, um, yeah, but this is a beautiful country up here. They don't, uh, that's why they call it gold country. It's very nice up here. Spencer's Bridge is generally uh, sunny, very little rain. You can count on the weather up here. Yeah. So. Well, it's pretty hot today, but you, you're in a shady spot here, you and Evelyn. It's part of the planning and make sure you stay hydrated. Yes. Well, yeah. uh, thanks for that. So uh, I'm sure the people that will uh, that will watch this video, uh, I'm not sure how many views you get. My, my top view on uh, on YouTube is uh, is 15,000. Chainsaw carving. Maybe get this uh, gold, you know, gold is a uh, Commodity now that's worth uh, I guess it's a two thousand an ounce now or it's down a little oh, bit. No, it's I know. down about fourteen hundred ounces. It's fourteen hundred, yeah. But yeah. depends on the United States and the wars they get into. That's right. So. I, okay. Well, thanks once again. Yeah, our pleasure. Okay.